So today we are going to solve another interview problem uh, that is uh, level order traversal and print each level in a separate line. So let's understand this uh, you know, from an example. So you can see that this is level 1, level 2 and level 3. So our output should be 1 and then a new line 2, 3 and in the next line 4, 5, 6, 7. Um, right so now uh, let's see how we can um, solve this problem so um the naive approach would be to get the height of a tree and put a for loop for each level in the tree and for each level in step two do a pre-order traversal print only when height matches to the level so let's understand this from the code um so here um, um this is this function gives the height um in another video, we have discussed uh, in detail how to get the height of a tree. So I'll leave the link in the description and you can follow that. So yeah. So here we get the height and then we iterate from one to H and print level. And the print level is in the print level, we are doing a pre-order uh, traversal. There's a base case. And so each time either you go to left or right, now you decrease one from the height so once your h is equal to one that means you are at the level you are at the desired level so print that and do do this traversal for each level right so the complexity would be o of n square which is not good so we have a better solution for this so let's understand that uh, let's go to our blackboard okay so let's say this is this is the tree which is given and this is this is the root okay and uh, we know in the level order traversal which is also called bfs bfs we use q okay what is q q is first in first out so whichever nodes enters in the q first uh, will be will go out first okay so we are going to use this uh, use the q uh, in this uh, solution as well with a uh, one small trick um, so let's see that. Okay, so let's say this is uh, this is our Q. Uh, okay, so the trick is every time uh, you extract uh, uh, a node from the, from the Q, before that you get the size of the Q, size of the current Q, and store it in a variable. Let's call it as uh, level nodes. That's a variable. Okay. So we'll start from the root. So first we'll enter the root in the queue. Okay. Now we'll take the um, size of the queue, which is one. Okay. Now we'll do another loop while level nodes is greater than zero. We'll extract from the uh, we'll we'll extract from the queue. So one is taken out. So uh, uh, let's print it here. So one will be printed. Okay. Now um, once we take out one, we'll add the children of one um, in the queue. So we'll add two and three, and we'll reduce the level node. So we'll reduce the level node uh, by one. So we extract one. So we'll reduce one. So now the level node becomes zero. Right, so every time level node this variable becomes zero, take the size of current Q and store it in the level nodes. Okay, so let's call it as uh, ln. So now this was zero after uh, one was taken out. Uh, take the size of the Q. So this is the size is two now. So this is two. Okay, now we'll extract two from the Q. And every time, yeah, every time the level node becomes zero, this variable becomes zero. Okay, now print a new line. So here we'll go to the new line. So once we extract two, we'll print two. Okay, and add the um, children of two, which is four and five to the queue. So we'll add four, we'll add five. Okay, and decrement this by one. So now this is one. So now extract the node three print 3, add the children of 3 to the queue, so that is 6 and 7, okay, and decrement this by 1, so this again becomes 0, 
So when it becomes 0, take the size of the cube. So size of the cube is now 4. So now ln is equal to 4. Okay. Now extract the uh, next element from the cube, which is 4. So since uh, ln became 0, we'll print to a new line. So extract 4, reduce this count to 3, print 4. 4 doesn't have any uh, child, so we'll not add anything. Next, we'll extract 5, reduce the count, print 5, and 5 is only one child, the left child, which is 9. So we'll add that to the queue. And now we'll extract 6, reduce this to 1, and then print 6. And 6 has only one right child, which is 10, so we'll add 10 to the queue. And then we'll extract the 7, so we'll extract the 7, we'll reduce this to 0, print 7. Now this ln has become 0, so we'll come to the new line, get the size, ln has become 0, so get the size of the um, q, which is 2. So now this is 2, and again, now extract 9, print 9, reduce it to 1, extract 10, print 10, reduce it to 0. At this point, our tree is over, the queue is empty, and we have printed um, each level um, in the new line. All right. So let's let's go back to the code. Uh, let's read this out. Uh, do the level order, order traversal using Q for uh, for getting uh, all the nodes at each level. Before you take out the node from the Q, store the size of the Q in a variable called level nodes. And while level nodes is greater than zero, take out the node, print it, add their children to the queue okay so this is uh, this is yet another example uh, which we explain in the diagram uh, similar to what we have seen so you can go through this example later let's 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 jump to the code so um, yeah this is level order queue so we have initialized the queue uh, right now uh, level nodes the uh, it is in initialized to zero this is base case and uh, yeah add root to the queue and now this part so while queue is not empty take the size of the queue and now store it in a level nodes and level nodes while it's greater than zero extract the node print the node add the children reduce the level node by one and every time you come out of this loop that means the level node is zero print a new line let's mark this problem completed um, uh, visit our website tutorialhorizon.com uh, for a more interesting problem. Yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.